Here's the lifeblood of your KLX. You're going to put a little bit of oil here and that goes. If you're new to the channel, welcome to my wheelie journey, guys. A lot of falling, a lot of banging, but I'm excited. I want to be able to be very proficient in doing wheelies at a whim, a controlled wheelie. I'm going to be using a Kawasaki KLX 140RL. By the way, if you're not subbed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We do have a Patreon. Join the best man tier for your chance to win up to $1,000 worth of moto prizes. You won't regret it. Let's take a look and see what we got. We're going to do an oil change today. I'm going to kind of cover exactly what you need. All right, here's the lifeblood of your KLX 140RL, guys. I'm going with Motorex 10W40. I went with an oil that's going to hold up a little bit longer in between oil changes. This is the KNN heavy duty engine protection oil filter. It is a lot smaller than expected. You're gonna put a little bit of oil here and that goes facing into the bike. So first off, we're gonna turn on the bike, let it run for about 10 minutes or so, let the oil run through the entire bike before we drain it. Also now I'm gonna loosen. Here. Now we're going to remove the oil filter. Make sure when you're fastening these guys the arrows pointing up. Also, it's eight Newton meters for you to torque these guys down and the oil drain bolt is 18 Newton meters. There is a spring on here and there's also a gasket. I'm just gonna pull out that filter now, guys. Not a lot of shaving on there, but this is the OEM filter. Right here, you can see a nice little amount of debris. Okay, there's a little bit of excess oil on here. I'm just gonna use my finger here just to kind of draw it out. Now we're just gonna quickly clean out the uh, casing and uh, any like little debris or and clean out the gasket and then re-oil the gasket. Do you want to put a little bit of oil on the ring? Here's our new k &N filter. A little bit of oil right here before slapping that on. Put a little bit of oil on here. Everything's back on as is. You want to place this with the arrow pointing up. These are only eight Newton meters, so they're not super tight. Now we're going to drop our drain plug back in. Keep in mind, the drain plug has to be torqued down to 18 Newton meters. So not a whole lot. Here's my beta tool torque wrench. We're going to adjust it to 18 Newton meters. This is one liter, guys, so it's recommended 1.2 liters, so this entire bottle has to go in. Going to use our little dipstick here and see where we're at with the level. Back in. 
Hopefully you guys are enjoying these short burst videos where I show you how I install parts, replace broken parts, tire changes, adjusting your shifter, whatever it may be. Go watch the next video, hit that thumbs up. If you have any comments, leave them down below. If you have any suggestions, leave them down below. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.